Morning Leo, I'm going to do a six month reading. So it's going to take us up to the end of December 2022. Uh, I call it six months. I'm doing it in May. So it's for sort of June, July until the end of the year. But, you know, if you pick this up in November, then it'll be November, December. Take what resonates, put the rest down. I'm, I'm reading for every Leo on the planet, which isn't possible. So if you're here, really appreciate it. Let's get to it. True black for this one, and then I'm going to use these to clarify the black violet, which is a gorgeous deck. So let's get to it, Leo. Let's see what we can see. Nine of Pentacles, beautiful, stay classy. Loving, loving that. The Page of Wands, Temperance, Judgment. Oh, I don't like to see that card. Card of Sorrow, Card of Lack, Two of Pentacles. She's come up again. I've just done a reading for Cancer and it was off the charts. Amazing. Really, really good Cancer. Anyway, we're with Leo now, so let's see what we can see. A couple of cards from that has come back in again. I do give these cards a really good shuffle. Um, and if they want to come out, they want to come out. That's all there is to it. Energy on the bottom. Fantastic. Energy on the bottom is the um, Ace of Pentacles. Mountains are about achievements or or things that you have to overcome, but clearly you're above this. You've overcome this. I also think it's a very foundational um, meaning to the card. You know, you've got these two, the hammer and the axe. The pentacles are all about actually getting stuff done, rolling your sleeves up and really doing it. You know, it's to me, it's a joiner and a builder. I mean, it could be a manager, but, you know. I don't know if I get into this, you know. Do managers do, you know, that, that, that it means it to me it feels like some kind of physicality. So it's it's how can I put it? It's not talking about a garden design, it's actually digging the soil over, you know, it's that real intent. Anyway, you start with the ace. If it's money, it's fantastic because it's dripping from everywhere, but it's a, a real a real card of um resolution being resolute and rolling your sleeves up and getting on with it so that's the energy for the read which is just lovely to see that's really really nice so it kind of goes you know past present future so we're walking towards the future here and we've got this is the current situation this is recent past and near future generally speaking you know i'm just reading these as nine cards and seeing what comes to me uh, it's interesting you've got a couple of pages down here with judgment um but your central card the card that sort of informs the read after this one is the um nine of pentacles so sitting nicely with the ace of pentacles there you've got the two of pentacles money could be a thing and the five um so yeah there's a fair few of these we will clarify with the black violet but let's start with this so you got the nine of pentacles which is um i call it the stay classy card you know if you look at the the cat on there it's it's almost smug but in a nice way, you know, it's like, yeah, I've got this. Ignoring what would normally be Prague because they're above that. You know, you've become your higher self. You've moved on. You've leveled up. Um, and it is a card of, you know, abundance. If it's if it's money, there is lots of money to be had. Um, so, yeah, really good, really positive read there. The, the two pages, the reason I'm kind of thinking it's not pages, it's a knight. That's what's thrown me. Okay, we've got a knight in the page. That's a bit better pages are kind of a bit earlier in the process so if you get two pages fine if you get two nights i'm a bit like so which one's the dominant one so anyway let's start with this one we have the page of wands the sorry the knight of wands the page of cups and the judgment card so this is about being brash courageous bashing the door down she doesn't have a sword this one she's just using the shield to get what she wants which is a great energy it's a really enthusiastic energy and the downside is it can be a bit bull in a china shop, but it's softened off immediately with this lovely um, page of cups. This uh, oyster down at the bottom has been open to new adventures, been open to friendships, been open to new way of thinking. And she's very, uh, very innocent, childlike, very soft, very kind. It's a really kind card. So to sit with this one is a lovely balance. You're able to be brash and courageous, but it's done for a good reason. It, it's a bit like standing in front of a car to save a puppy that's lying in the road. You know, it's that that bravery because you're doing something so lovely. So that's a fantastic energy to get together. Judgment card is, is pointing straight at the destiny card. There's fate coming in. So something's going to come in. 
that you don't know about. It's, it's kind of going to blindside you. I try and read these cards the way the booklet that comes with the card tells me to. Because normally in a in a reading, this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is the trainers in the station. Jump on board. Who knows where the adventure will take you. It's a lot harder and colder in this in this deck. This talks about this unusual being that's lording it over our world as above so below and it's intertwining the the strands of fate but it's got a real sense of you not expecting it's almost like the tower card it's a real cathartic kind of it's it's a tsunami you know one minute the sea is calm the next minute there's a tsunami coming in you're like where did that come from yeah nothing you can do about it it literally is like bang straight in yeah it's like I don't know, setting up a business and, and for two or three months it's going okay, you know, you're making a bit of profit and then all of a sudden, I don't know, some YouTuber likes you and you're just getting a thousand orders a week, you're like, when did this happen, you know, so it could be a really good thing, I'm not seeing anything negative here, apart from this card, but we'll talk about that. Um, so yeah, the the judgment card's talking about this and saying, when this when this thing comes in, whatever this is, this this unusual tsunami, make sure you do the right thing with it whatever it is make sure you do the right thing if it's a business and your business explodes you know take on some new staff get people out of college get people off the dole get them working you know so so everyone benefits you know it's that kind of thing rather than going do you know what i'm going to burn the candle at both ends and do 100 hour weeks because it's my money and i'm keeping it so i know take somebody on what if the business doesn't work next week well what if it doesn't you don't know that but you know just just be in the cold light of day be honest honest and authentic mark twain said always tell the truth you don't have to remember anything love that you know so yeah if, if it's going good it, i mean it could be negative by the way i'm not seeing that because of this ace and temperance um but yeah it's it's definitely a real cathartic kind of poof, where did that come from in your second row we've got the uh, two of pentacles which is the balancing act and it's going really well so again if you're juggling finances you're juggling a relationship you feel like you're doing all the hard work or you're in a business and you're having to to you know make sure everything's going okay it's like plate spinning have you ever seen those those um circus acts where they spin plates on poles and there's always one that's wobbling isn't there after the last minute they go and start it spinning again it's that kind of energy and you can do it you know and you can do it for quite a while but you can't do it forever so it talks about, OK, you, you're doing a great balancing act at the moment, you're doing a great job, but you need to look at how we're going to solidify that over time. And then in this final row, we've got temperance, which is literally that. It's about finding the balance. It's really important in life to find the balance. <clears throat> find the balance between home life, work life, between, you know, uh, money coming in and money going out. You need to find the balance for that, obviously. Um, between working your bits off and actually having fun and having the adventure being pleasant and being a bit cold-hearted when you need to be you know there's nothing wrong with that you have to tell somebody bad news so you have to tell them it's, you know that's life so temperance is literally uh, it's one of the only cards with an angel on it it's got the yin and yang symbol above a head and it is it is literally you find the balance it's hard to do actually you know but once you're in balance it feels so so good you know it's almost like driving along with the wind in your hair and you suddenly reach a certain speed where the car goes quiet and the wind goes quiet and, like, and you're like you're in that moment you're in that pipeline it's beautiful beautiful energy you just stay there as long as you can um ace of cups love this second best card in the deck after the sun these poppies are your dreams you know um but you can make your dreams a reality really really easily you know but you have to know what your dream is and know what it takes to accomplish it you know, you can't say, I wish I had a million pounds, right? What are you doing about that? Where's your job? Where's your idea? Where's your enthusiasm? Where, how, how are you moving forward on that? What's your first step on that road to a million? Um, and you're watering those. You know, you're watering it with intent and affection and, and love and determination. You know, it's a lovely, lovely card. There's a message coming in as well, which is this dove. It's got a crown on its head, so it's an important message coming in. So... This card here, so the, these three are your are your read as far as I can see. The rest is all helping that happen. Something's going to come in. Make sure you're equally honest about it, yeah, and then it'll work out really, really well. So I know it's a funny kind of shape, but that that's the read as far as I can see it. This card down here, the Five of Pentacles, just talks about self-pity and lack and, you know, complaining about what you've lost rather than what you've got. 
please don't you know you're in a fantastic situation if you're reading that if you're watching this on youtube you're like in two percent of the world because you can access electronics you can access the internet you know you got the freedom to come to this channel that's an amazing amazing level to be at already on this planet you know as a human being that's fantastic so what what's this for you don't need self-pity you don't need to worry about what what you, what you could have had worry about don't even worry about anything you know fantastic don't worry um let's clarify this i'm gonna clarify with these lovely cards here he said smashing the place up so we have the nine of cups which goes beautifully with the nine of pentacles there um i'm trying to think what the card looks like in an in a, a rider weight deck let me come back to that one. My brain's my brain's a bit addled. Oh, the the feast card. Yeah, that. I mean, that's a fun. I knew it was a fantastic card. Really good card. No problem at all. That is um, the slightly chubby merchant sat in front of the cups. Cups are full of wishes, dreams, or whatever it is that they want. Kind of dreams coming true uh, through hard work. Page of wands uh, on top of the page of cups. Oh, I thought I was going to get double pages, didn't I? So page of cups, page of wands. Again, this is um, enthusiasm. Page of wands is, in this deck, is a, is a beautiful, beautiful drawing. It's um, illustration. It's um, the page is, is creating a hole, a portal that she's jumping into. She's going off on the new adventure. Uh, judgment on top of judgment. Uh, you can't make this up, guys. You, I'm just picking these cards out. Judgment on top of judgment. Justice on top of that. Judgment, judgment, justice. You have got to do the right thing. Knight of Cups on top of this. So this is your card of um, affluence, sophistication, and being able to generate more, more money, more wealth, more stability. And on this one, it's like, get going. Yeah, we, you know you can do this. These are fields down here that need to get planted. It's like get going. Let's let's do this. Knight of Swords as well. Yeah, and you are going to do it, and you're going to do it in. Um, I call this speedboat on a river or speedboat on the pond. It comes in with a fair amount of of kind of noise. You know, it's like here I am. Let's do this, and and in a positive way, you kind of drag people along with you. Like, come on, this is what we're trying to do. Um, Six of Wands got a, a triumphant victory coming in towards the end of the year. The Empress. Um, Trust your instincts on this ace. So when this destiny comes in, go with your instincts. You're absolutely right. And then the nine of pentacles again on top of this. So, right, okay. It's very much, um, Leo, you're, you're, you're in a really, really... <laughs> and the fool on the bottom. You're in a fantastic place already. It's... Um, the the if if you're in a higher space if you're in higher energy you you already know all of this you're like i know something's coming up it's one of those things it's like being prepared you, you leo you know that you're prepared for this if you're completely and utterly honest yeah you've got to be really honest and open so if you're in a relationship that doesn't work that relationship needs to end and i'm not seeing that i'm not seeing that cathartic kind of ending what i'm seeing is if something doesn't serve you, you know, you've got judgment, judgment, justice. It's all about, you know, on the day of judgment, people go, why did you string that person along for six months longer than you should have done? You know, you can just talk to someone and go, this isn't really working out, is it? And chances are they go, no, it isn't, is it? And in a work situation, why are you working for someone you don't like? Or why are you working in a job that's got no career progression? Or or you've, your friend's on double the money you're on. You know, you don't have to have a fight about this. There's, there's no... There's no friction in this reading at all. It's it's just about knowing your worth, knowing your value. Harrison Ford, someone once asked him, you know, how can you justify getting nine million dollars a movie? And this was years and years and years ago. And he said it's about value. He said if there's another actor who is making films that are bringing in millions and millions of dollars, they get paid nine million. Therefore, I'm as good as they are. I get paid nine million. He said, yes, is a horrendous amount of money for doing the job I'm doing because he used to be a carpenter. But that's the going rate. So know your going, know your worth, know your going rate. And when this comes in, not only have you got to be cold, not cold, open and honest and authentic. You've got to jump into this new, this new adventure. You know, the fool, the ace, and the empress are all about 
uh, being prepared and but just just going for it really just go for it you're in a really solid place here leo i don't know what you've been doing recently but you are you are bonkers set up for the rest of the year and when this thing comes in whatever it is you're just going to go with it just go with it you've got nine of pentacles twice which is the ability to to grow more stuff you know you if you're in a relationship you can only make it better if you're about money you're only going to make more money if you're about happiness you you're able to give your happiness away because it's just the universe is just going to pull more happiness into you you're almost like a light bulb that just sends out this energy love it love it love it have a fantastic year i will see you on sunday for your general reading take care